This is the stump the Swami part of the satsang. <laughs> okay. What was your first experience meeting Sri Swami Satchidananda? I'm sure you could ask any Swami in the room here that question and get a very interesting answer. So my first experience was simply hearing his name. Someone called me and told me that a Swami was going to be speaking at the university. And I got this very funny feeling. And I asked the person, what is the Swami's name? And they said, Swami Satchidananda. And everything within me went, <gasps> because somehow in that instant, I knew that life as I had known it was about to dramatically change. I just knew, just by hearing his name. The first time I saw him was when I was on a bus waiting to go to my first yoga retreat back in 1970. The bus was parked outside of the San Francisco Integral Yoga Institute. If you're familiar with that house, it's on a hill type street, and it has four levels. So I'm at street level, and he had just emerged high above street level out of the door of the house where he had been meeting with the members of the institute. So I'm looking up at this little figure gazing at him. And the next moment, I experience his face right in front of me, looking at me, peering directly in my eyes, which on a physical level was impossible. And then I saw him looking in the faces in the eyes of all the people down the row in the bus. I think he was sizing up the work he was going to have to do on that retreat. And interestingly, in recent times, someone else who was on that bus shared with me they had the exact same experience on that bus. So my experience, having seen him, was my mind went berserk. That's the most accurate word, I think, to express it. What it was perceiving was beyond its comprehension. And again, I think on a deep level, that same statement from hearing his name was going through my mind, life as I have known it is about to change. And then we went on that retreat. It was in the Santa Cruz Mountains at a very rustic setting. There were about maybe 400 of us at that time, straight out of the hippie movement, fascinated by these Eastern teachers who were first appearing amongst us. And my experience on that retreat was every morning and every evening, he came and spoke about Raja Yoga, sharing those ancient teachings which form the core of integral yoga. And as he spoke, tears flowed. I couldn't stop crying the whole retreat. And I think for me, it was like hearing that which I had always known to be true, but with an authority embraced in loving kindness, both of which I had never experienced before. So you could say the spirit within my heart was quickened, was awakened. And after the retreat, my life dramatically changed. They say when the student is ready, the master appears. 
someone sent me a quote today, which I found very interesting, the opposite being true. When the student is ready, the master disappears. <laughs> and all becomes one. But when the time is right, when we are receptive in whatever form or forms, the guidance comes and blesses us, graces us on our journey. And that presence, that grace is available whether or not the master is in physical form or has passed to higher realms. That grace, that guidance, that comfort is available if our hearts are open to it. And I think many of us in the room could attest to that.